Hey guys, I, I want to show you kind of a cool trick that we're using at church um, for DMXs. Um, we ran into a problem of when we were switching things over to DMXs was uh, controlling the smoke machines and having them loop over and over and over and over and over um, uh, to continually puff out some smoke. Well, we, in DMXs you kind of have to manually do it. Uh, bring it all the way up and then bring it down for both your channels for your blower speed and your the volume of it um, <clears throat> so here's kind of a cool workaround that's kind of fun um, if you have the IAC driver bus um, enabled uh, I showed you in part two uh, if you have that enabled this will automatically show up under external MIDI and uh, just make sure that's selected. It, I think channel one is fine. I'll just hit create. Okay, we'll move this over just to get some room. This is really quick, so this would be a pretty cool trick for you guys. Okay, so go to here. This is going to be like your automation and uh, volume automation. And just do like a simple thing from zero. Um, all the way to one, as high as you can get it. <clears throat> okay. And then just do another one where it goes all the way down. And then you're going to click and drag over to here to set loop points. Okay, here's the cool thing. You got The weird thing is you, you got to make sure this button is unchecked for whatever reason. I don't know why, but here it is. Go right here, right click on the fader that you want, click learn, and then go back into logic and just hit the play button. Bam. So now you have loopable smoke machines, and you can do that for um, both, um, or in as many channels as you want, actually. So it's kind of a cool thing to loop your smoke machines throughout your service, and then once you get done with it, you just go back into logic, hit the space bar, and... Uh, It'll run out of smoke um, and won't continue looping. Anyway, it's kind of a cool trick. Uh, another cool thing is if you're working on a PC, um, I did this in Sonar uh, X1 um, as well. So you just got to make sure on your output um, for a MIDI track uh, just to have it output to uh, a virtual MIDI driver. And there's one out there, it's called Loop MIDI. It works really great. Uh, we use this every week during service. Um, and you pretty much just do a volume control exactly like this and just have it output um, <clears throat> through Loop MIDI. And then you go into uh, the DMX's standalone software, go into preferences and uh, audio MIDI settings. And it'll be under, instead of IAC driver, it'll be Loop MIDI. And uh, Oh yeah, and also to make this thing work, um, make sure to have the IAC driver enabled um, if you're doing it on a Mac. Um, but anyway, hopefully this helped you guys out, and uh, have a good day.